Therefore, honorable members, the procedure to be followed in this case is that set out in section 336A of the County Governments Act and Standing Order Number 84A, both of which provide as follows. If the special committee reports that the particulars of any allegation against the governor have not been substantiated, further proceedings shall, underline, shall not be taken under this section in respect of that allegation. Therefore, what this means is that insofar as the matter of impeachment of the governor of Meru, that matter is now put to rest by that point. We cannot purport to debate the report. The report, the committee that came up with that report is a creature of this house. By extension, it is the Senate that came up with that report. Having pronounced ourselves through that report, the Senate now stands functus official. You cannot debate your own decision. And there are four members that rests the matter of impeachment of the Honorable Governor. However, I'm aware, indeed, we have wise men and women in this chamber who may give us comments and opinions for the future, not for purposes of the impeachment of Governor Kawira Mwangaza. So I will allow those wise men and women to comment but do not, repeat, do not take your comments to that report because those comments will not in any way affect the validity or otherwise of that report. Your comments will not even remove or add a comma of that report. We simply want to seek your wisdom going forward. Senators, for those who are willing to make their comments in that regard, I will be calling one after the other, and that exercise shall not be undertaken for more than one hour.